Hi everyone. This is a little video to show you how to do a color change in UK double crochet or US single crochet. So I'm going to show you the change at the end of a row to start a new row in a new color. If you were making something striped, for example, but the same applies if you're going to change color in the middle of a row or if you're going to add a new ball of yarn. So our UK double crochet, our US single is quite a short stitch. You insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through too. So you're going to work until you're at your very last stitch in the row. So here we are, you insert your hook, your yarn over and draw up your loop and you're left with two loops on the hook. And this is where you always do your color change when you've just got a single uh, yarn over and pull through to do. So we take our yarn, we've got this nice yellow, going to leave a nice long tail, fold it over, pop it on your hook like this, there's no knot or anything, and you're just going to pull through. So that yellow is being used as the new yarn over, you can tighten up your blue and yellow by pulling the ends. And there we go, so the last stitch has been completed, the post and the top are both in blue, but the loop on your hook is in yellow. Chain one, and you can continue now working your stitches in yellow. And there's going to be no jogs in your color change. The bottom stripe is going to be entirely blue and the top one is going to be entirely yellow. Particularly with the UK double or the US single, you may find it pulls a little open, just Give your ends a little tug and that will tighten that right up and when you sew in your ends you're not going to see them at all. So you can work your stripe as you continue. If you're doing a single row stripe you will have to cut your yarn and rejoin in the same way on the last yarn over. You would yarn over it blue and work back over. However, I'm going to do a two row stripe, so we'll just turn and work our stitches right back to where our yarn is joined on. If your stripes are thin enough, you can save yourself the hassle of cutting your yarn and carry the yarn up the side of your work. This is great if you're working in things like blankets, because it saves you sewing in so many ends. So we're going to insert, draw up your loop, two loops on your hook, drop the yellow and pick up the blue, yarn over and draw through. Firm up that last stitch by just pulling that loose end. And you wanna make sure that you don't have your um, blue yarn too tight because this will pucker your row. Chain one and keep working. You can see compared to my uh, treble crochet video, these stripes are a little bit narrower. So the carrying of the yarn is not quite so obvious. Um, but again, it works best if you're doing something that requires a border. So that just secures in that yarn carry and saves you sewing in loads of ends. If you are uh, cutting your yarn, um, I'll just show you how to uh, work those ends now. So here we are, we're going to snip our yellow yarn because maybe we're not going to use it again. Again, leave a nice long end, maybe 10 centimeters or so. Cut your yarn. I'm going to carry the blue here just for convenience. Yarn over and pull through and you see you've got your end. We're now going to start to work in blue. But what we can do is you can lay that end over the top of your work and crochet it into place. And this saves you sewing in the ends. So work our double crochets along. And you can see how that end has been just laying it along the top of your work. Keep crocheting as you go. And that end is getting nicely secured. Now this works best if you're working in UK double crochet or US single crochet because the stitches are nice and squat and nice and secure. So your end is really held in well. Doesn't work so well 
for treble crochets because they're um, not quite so secure. And, and with the treble crochet, I'd always recommend that you sew in your ends. But in the double crochet, you can work over them and that makes your color change nice and secure. When you get to the end of your row, I'd maybe just drop the end before you get to right to finishing your row, like so. You can see it here at the back. There it is. Pull it a little bit tighter and snip. Give it a little bit of a stretch and it relaxes right into your crochet. You've got two options. If your stripes are narrow, you can carry the yarn up the side like we did in the blue, or you can cut the yarn when you finish your stripe like we did at the yellow, and you can work over those ends to save you sewing them in. I hope you found this video useful and uh, check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Thank you. Hi, this is Fiona. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, why not subscribe below to make sure you get all my videos as they're released. Check out all my latest news on Facebook too, at Fiona Mead Crochet.